Okay, so I'm making this video because I couldn't find anything on YouTube showing how to do this. Um, I've, I had to actually go to Reddit to figure this out. Um, so, as you can tell by the title, this is how we fix our grip force on our valve index knuckle controllers. Um, so what you have to do is you have to open up Steam for some reason. It makes you open up Steam. But then you also have to open up Steam VR. Um, what the fuck is that? So you gotta open up Steam VR. So I'm gonna minimize this so you can't see that. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay. So you open up Steam VR, and you gotta turn your controllers on. So I just turn my controllers on, as you heard. Wait for them to register. This one's on. This one's on. Okay. So what you gotta do is go to click this little three area to open up the menu the little three lines and you go to settings and then from settings you have to go to controllers and you gotta show binding UI this is very important this is the tab that will open this is what this is opening so it's gonna open up your controller binding so you can do all of your different games that you play but what we want to do is do it for the overall so you want to actually just go to regular steam vr because this is the like the overarching um controller ui setting so you're going to click this it's going to load so you're going to have all the stuff don't worry about anything down here we just need to go to where it says current binding i'm already on my fix part two um because i had to do this twice in order to get it fixed and and, and, and make it feel the right way um so you go to edit and then it brings us to this page right here. It's just telling you like what's what. If you go to your grip, you hit edit. And then once you hit edit on the grip on the when you scroll down here, you just go to the little settings icon right here. Click that. It'll pull all this up. Some people change this to pull. I like to keep mine on force because pull makes it so that when you touch the controller, it registers, but if force is what the squeezing registers. So um, I'm actually going to change my um, my touch activation and touch threshold deactivation. Or maybe I'll do, yeah, no, I might change this down to 10 as well. Um, maybe just turn this up to like 35 because it, it was doing a little too much before. Um, but your default settings are probably going to be like 80 and then 20 or 25 and then whatever these were before because I just changed these just now. Uh, but these are the first two that I changed right here. I changed click the activ activation threshold. I changed that down to 20 because I don't want to have to squeeze the life out of my controller in order for it to register that I'm making a fist. And then the click deactivation threshold is just when you let go of the controller, you want it to register as letting go. So I keep mine at 10 so that that way like when I let go it, it knows that I let go um, that's pretty much it you just hit close and then you hit save personal binding and then you title what it is this is my third time doing it now so I'm going to say uh, fixed part three um, and then yep do this and then changed deactive deact deact Deactive from twenty uh, from twenty to ten. Save. Then it's gonna save it, and you just go over here. You gotta go to the right side controller, and you gotta do it over here too. So I'm gonna go over to twenty-five, ten. What did I put this one at? kept that at 25 did I put this down to 10 I think so uh, and then you just leave that there boom I'm gonna double check that I did that over here 10 35 okay that's what that's what that is okay 35 boom save personal binding I'm just gonna rename this part three because I saved it too fast so actually wait till you do both controllers do the left controller then do the right controller and then click the save personal binding and then come to this page to name it so I'm gonna say fixed Part three, again, just because it's easier that way. 
save boom so now both controllers are updated you can do it updating for a lot of other stuff like use the joystick and and blah 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 only if you want to um but i just i, I just do the grip because that was the thing that was messing me up in games um you know i'd be like making a fist in blade and sorcery and my middle finger would be sticking out like a little hook um or i'd be in in bone lab and my pinkies would be kind of up a little bit for some reason so i'm just changing this so that the games understand that my grip is fully gripped then you just gotta hit back when you're done and then it'll update and it'll tell you you're using whatever one you're using so i'm using my fixed part three where i changed all these blah 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 and that's it you just exit out and then you go to test controller and you can see i'm using my left hand so you can see my pull is a lot like i'm barely touching my controller and it's going pew 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 but the force now if I just grip a little bit, this is gripping a little bit, so it's about half. If I grip full, not full strength, but like a little bit more, this, if I was gripping as hard as I am right now, I would only be getting to half of the force. So I had to like grip with like my life depended on it before. So now it's just easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, and then if you switch to the right hand, let me turn on the controller real fast. It just turned off. Then you can see the same thing. I'm barely gripping and it's going up to 50%, 100%, 50%, 100%. Super easy, super good. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys out if you're trying to do the same thing. Um, obviously, you can change a bunch of your other um, key bindings and, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, good luck.